But first up in this program, we're taking a look at how banks and financial institutions are moving forward at pace in the drive to improve the customer experience. Italy's Unicredit has significantly expanded with a new digital way to make payments that reduce cost and time, while at the same time increasing security and efficiency. It follows the introduction of the EU's Payment Services Directive 2, otherwise known as PSD2, a number of high-value functionalities that have already been deployed and other services that are being developed to support the digitalization of clients across the country. Well, to look at the steps being taken and the future of open banking in Italy and across Europe, I spoke earlier to Barbara Tamborini, Head of Individuals Italy at Unicredit, and Luca Corsini, Group Head of Global Transaction Banking at Unicredit. And I began by asking Luca to evaluate the current level of standardization in both Italy and across the rest of Europe. Uh, with PSD2 regulator set up a very high ambition about standardization. Uh, what do I mean? PSD2 paved the way for pre preliminary exploration, leading the market to open up a new channel, the API, as a standard point of access to accounts. Therefore, standard is the key word. Unicredit, as many other banks, have leveraged the market initiative, like Berlin Group and the Consortium Bancario Italiano, CBI, in order to guarantee a layer of standardization. However, let's be honest, current standardization is less than expected, mainly because of absence of regulator support in Europe scalability. Indeed, API standardization will be a relevant enabler for open banking within Europe to avoid market fragmentation and allow easy integration with external providers also outside country boundaries. And uh, I know that um, you're going to, to address these a little bit later, but let's let's stay with this subject, Barbara. I want to get your view on PSD2 adoption in Italy against the rest of Europe. Do you see any difference as well between corporate and retail? Well, uh, PSD2 is uh, highly promising, but the market uh, uh, is uh, at the very beginning. So we are at the initial phase. We uh, have some use uh, cases that have been developed, but that are some basic use cases, as for example, the account aggregator, the payment initiator, or the account to pay. But a huge potential has to be explored, in my view. Uh, on Europe, uh, we have a large group uh, that is operating that is present in several countries in Europe. Uh, and I can see that uh, PSD2 took place unevenly uh, because we face different solutions in the different uh, countries. From the customer point of view, what we see is that larger companies uh, are the one that uh, seems to have the larger interest, also due to uh, their interest in going digital, uh, driven by the pandemic effect. Um, on small customer, retail and SME, I think uh, we have to invest. They need uh, more time and they need uh, more support uh, to make PSD2 fly. Let me broaden things out. And in fact, I, I want both of you to answer this question. But if I can start first with you, Luca, what needs and opportunities do you see for both corporate and retail? Uh, Juliette, um, PSD2 and open banking. Um, especially in Europe, is answering a demand for instant and real-time transaction. And this is also driving the API technology forward. The majority of RFP launched by corporates where API functionality have been mentioned are related to the access and to the connectivity to third parties through API, which are considered as an alternative uh, channels for payment transaction and account management. Example of request from corporate are connectivity, i.e. need for option to connect via the bank, with the bank via API, as possible future channels like Swift, File, Abix, and so on. Account management, i.e. get access via API to global cash management fees and interest payment cards information. 
this is the main aspect we see from a copper side. Uh, we'll end over to Barbara regarding the retail part. Thanks, no Luca. So a retail customer, conversely, I think that uh, major points are related to user experience and security. So finding the right proposal on that is the key for the success of PST2 on this segment of customers. Uh, while the majority of APIs uh, refers to basic services as refer to payments uh, and uh, accounts, uh, this is the main area of investment at the moment, but is confirmed to be the next opportunity, the E identification uh, of the customer. So this is really interesting. Talking about the services that we have in place uh, today, uh, of course, uh, larger companies uh, are the more advanced, but I think that also SME companies can take advantages from this kind of solution in their daily activities. For example, with the account aggregation, they can have a balance sheet and the company liquidity view in a unique uh, uh, sheet. Uh, they can uh, leverage on the payment initiation that simplify the process for the user uh, and so they can leverage on this kind of opportunity for receiving payments also. And finally, we developed in Unicredit an account to pay solution that is uh, fully uh, plugged in in our uh, e-commerce payment gateway. It is fully leveraging on PSD2 APIs and it enables the payment through current account uh, money transfer. This is an opportunity in terms of e-commerce payment, both for uh, small and larger uh, companies. We developed it in Italy and now we are deep diving the potential for other countries in the group. Mm. And of course, when you talk about these innovations, you can't avoid the idea of cooperation. So Luca, given that, how do you leverage cooperation with other banks so that you can develop open banking in Italy? Um, if you see the level of cooperation between banks, I would say Italy is a pretty unique uh, situation. And uh, the main reason is especially the Italian banking consortium, which I was mentioning before, which has a very positive impact, uh, mainly thanks uh, to the support of the Italian government uh, to develop a series of new services. First of all, uh, I would say that the main service at, at the moment is the IBAN check for Pago PI. Pago PI is a, the public administration service provider, now which is going to be extended to corporates. Um, the, the second concept I would say is collaboration among market player is crucial, as well as uh, the boost from the European institution to scale up PST2 and open banking, as well as being able to interface, interact with other market players quickly and effectively in case of problem. I mean, at the end, the PSD2 and open banking is an ecosystem game. I mean, it's not just a few bank or one bank doing something on their own. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there. But Luca Corsini, thank you so much. And also big thanks to Barbara Tamborini. Thank you. Thank you.